So here we have the DJI Mini 2 which has no obstacle avoidance. So I did buy the prop guards because if I was flying through trees if I hit something then I've got a chance of that recovering without breaking any blades off and falling to the ground. But then I thought I need to see the drone faster because I was looking back at the drone after I look at the screen and I couldn't actually see the drone. So I needed to locate it faster so I've uh, covered it with a fluoro orange stickers and now it's no problem for me to see in amongst the trees. So I've done this review and I hope you enjoy. Hi there, so <clears throat> I bought some stickers for my drone because um, if you have got prop guards and uh, you want to put stickers on then there is no obstacle avoidance on the Mini 2, the DJI Mini 2, so it's better off if you do have um, some prop guards, especially if you're flying through trees. So I bought the stickers and uh, when I tried to put them on, because the stickers were in the way on, on the edges, on the, on the tips here, then I couldn't really put the, the guards on. So what I had to do is I had to cut it back to here. I'll give you a close up um, a shot, but I had to cut it back to there so I could put the, the prop guards on. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, fluoro orange and it's really highly visible. I mean, if you're flying on the side or something and you, you see that, so uh, you can see it a lot better if there's a backdrop of trees in the background. So I did have to put them on. I've got uh, one guard on here and one guard off just to let you, just to show you what I've done here. So uh, when I did try and put these on, it did fit, but it was that tight that I couldn't put the clip, I couldn't put the clip on at, this, at the top here. So these would, wouldn't clip properly. So if you're in mid-flight and all of a sudden the clip come off, it's going to hit these props and you're going to come into, into problems. Um, <clears throat> if it's high wind, I don't, or higher wind, I don't usually use the prop guards because the wind catches it and um, has, a f has a more problems flying with, than without the, the prop guards. So I just fly this if there's low wind or if I'm flying through trees. And if it does fall down, you can imagine that um, there's two prop guards on there, it comes down and bounces around, hits there first, so there's um, less chance that you're going to do a, any damage to one of these arms here. So the prop guards are useful, but I suggest you only use them in up to about 13 km hour winds or below. <coughs> um, another thing was that I was getting some error messages coming up, and it's because um, when I had the stickers, I put the stickers right up this arm here, which they which well, they were supposed to go up here, but the stickers just stopped it from going that little bit further, and it came up with a couple of error messages. So what I've done is just clipped it back, so there was no obstruction whatsoever on this particular arm or the other arms. Um, underneath here, as you can see from the bottom there, you're going to see that a lot better than if it's a grey, especially if it's cloudy conditions and you've got this up in the sky and it's grey which is the same colour as the clouds, you're not going to see it much at all. Um, when the drone is coming towards you, I'll show some flight in a while, so if the drone is coming towards you it's sort of like this and then once it's coming towards you just like that, so then you're going to see the drone a lot better with this at the top there. So. <clears throat> Definitely if you're spying on your ex-wife or something, then I wouldn't use the stickers because <laughs> she's going to see that for miles. But uh, definitely from side view or front on view, it's coming towards you or behind, you're still going to see it a lot better than what you would with, uh, without the stickers. So the stickers were $33 Australian. It didn't take long to, to get here. It did take a while for to put the stickers on because they've got like individual parts and you've got to work out which part goes where but um, <clears throat> it's definitely better. Um, I'll show you some flight and I've actually put a filter on for the flight that I had on this one and I'll show you the in flight with the stickers on and I'll show you with a filter it's um, actually the free world filters I'll do a, a review on them later on it's the 8 pack and it's the 4k series so the original Mini 1 wasn't 4K, so they must have made another series which was 4K. It's an 8-pack 4K, and it's made by Freewell. So um, I'll go into the footage now of the video of the of it flying, and you can actually see that it's uh, a lot more visible than what you would have without the stickers. Okay. So there it is. 
and I didn't have to actually take much off there and you can see right there that I've just cut it right before the actual guard piece fit on otherwise you would, didn't, wouldn't be able to slide it on properly alright we'll go to the footage now So while in flight you do need to look at your drone to see where it's at because you don't have obstacle of avoidance so if you're flying in between trees and stuff you need to look at the drone and if you're looking at the screen and look back at the drone maybe you've lost where it is. So with the stickers you can actually see a lot better. See up in the sky it's pretty easy to, sh to see and as it's passing by you or if you're in amongst the trees or something like that so uh, I do recommend the stickers, they're, they're a great help for me to actually glimpse back to, to look at where my drone is and I can actually see it. So <clears throat> I do just a round shot here, just a up from the top and uh, I'll give you a down shot as well. So um, it has got a polarised lens at the front there, I'll give you a glimpse of that in a minute. Uh, so there's a the polarised lens there, it's a ND16PL and it's from Freewall and there's an underneath shot so if it's up in the sky you can definitely see a lot better and um, yeah I highly recommend the stickers because uh, just for visual sight you can actually see it I'll give you a glimpse at some of the footage I took with the filter on and later on I'll probably be doing a, um, a review of the filters. There's a lot of filters there so I have to run through them all first and get the right settings and then I'll make a video about it. So there it is, the stickers. Here's some footage. <laughs> 